What's going on guys, more UTSA Dynasty here today, trying to play some catch up here as I have some more games to edit with both, both my Dynasties actually here on NCAA 13, so trying to get both of them on to Season 2 as fast as I can here. We have a few more games to go in this season, we have Southern Mississippi, Tulane, and UTEP to close out the season. We've played a lot of tough opponents already in the Conference USA, or our tougher opponents anyway, and now we're going to go against Southern Mississippi who are 6-2 and two on the season. And over here in UTSA, we are, of course, at two wins and seven losses. So, Southern Miss on offense to start this game. It's Arsenio Favor, the quarterback, the mid-screen to Sullivan, the wide receiver, and he's going to get a few yards. Looked like a broken play, perhaps, as he was under pressure, but now second down and five. Want to bring the blitz on the play action. Good protection. Going deep left side, and already we got burned. That is Quinton Pierce on the big touchdown catch, as he's going to go the distance, and it's 7-0 Southern Mississippi very early here in the Alamo Dome. So, Eric Sos on offense for the first time in this game. Great protection, actually, as Brandon Freeman makes the catch on the deep slant route and he's going to get the first down so second down and six Souza over the middle Jeremiah Muller he's going to get Cam Jones to get him a block and then he crosses the 50 yard line to the Southern Mississippi 46 yard line and now first down and 10 Souza under pressure and he's sacked our lineman can't get the fumble Southern Miss has got it inside of UTSA territory and we are off to an ugly start here two minutes into the game second and 10 for favor hands ball off to the running back Johnson and there's our man there Jerron Harris making a nice tackle third down and 12. Favor back to throw again. Sitting in the pocket left side and Lampley's going to drop the pass as Darian Starling was closing in on him. And First and 10 for Eric Souza. Next drive now open underneath as Brandon Freeman once again. And he just has a knack for getting open it seems in this series. Second down and 13. Once again, Brandon Freeman makes the catch in between two defenders. Nice throw. 11 yards on the play. Now you run the ball. Evans Okacha up the gut but man we could not get through there. Stopped after a gain of zero and Southern Mississippi is going to get the football. Second Second and nine, favor hands ball off to Johnson. Spin move and close to a first down. They'll call it third and inches coming up here. As they're on this no huddle offense, hand the ball off again. Desmond Johnson first down as he's tripped up by Jerron Harris with a new set of downs again. Minutes to go here in the first quarter as favor sets up screen pass left side for Johnson as we can't catch him until he gets the first down. Barely gets it, but it's a good for another first down for the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles. But we forced him to third down at 15, and so I wanted to play some soft zone coverage, give him something underneath. They send everybody deep, and they're going to throw it, and it's intercepted by Steven Kerfis. Nice play there by our stud middle linebacker, and he's going to try to get as good of a return as he can up across the 40-yard line. Good field position for the UTSA Roadrunners. Third down and six, Eric Souza in the pocket. He fires it to the right side for Brandon Freeman, who once again makes the catch before being knocked out of bounds. Then hand the ball to Evans Okacha out of the shotgun, sweep left side. He's turning the corner on the left sideline. He gets the first down and more. That was a very patient run for Okacha. Good up the left sideline for about 13, 14 yards. But now Forrest in third down and 10. What can Souza do here over the middle? David Morgan wide open as he makes the catch inside of the red zone. Now third down and 13. 13, though. Souza looking for Okacha out of the backfield, and that one's pretty much looked like it was thrown away. And so we settle for a field goal at 7-3 to three now in the second quarter, as once again trying to bring some pressure against Favor. He's hit as he throws, but he finds his open man over the middle. The cover zero coverage is not working very well for us as we were trying to get some pressure against this offense. And now they're back inside of UTSA territory, second and six. Open man is Johnson. Again, shoves away one defender, and he's tackled inside the 10-yard line close to the 5. Now they're with second and goal out of the shotgun favor clean pocket to pass from very patient rolling out to his left now and into the end zone he goes touchdown Arsenio favor it's 14 to 3 now Southern Mississippi on top of course and then after our three and out they get the ball again and favor is going to scramble once more we're going to have to get the spy in effect if they're going to keep doing this which is going to limit our approach of getting some pressure and then they get the pass off again Stalling knocks him out of bounds and it's second and one coming up looking to set a zone blitz on this play screen pass right side we get the sack there I was gonna go cover the screen manually with Steven Kerfes so third down and 12 they want the screen again but they're gonna take another sack and that knocks them out of field goal range so good job by our offense or defense I mean and the offense goes three and out now screen pass right side if you can't get the screen to the running back just try it to the receiver and keep your blockers in there it works for Southern Mississippi they get the first down new set of downs left side another burn play that's Lampley burning Darian stalling inside the five yard line and it's first and goal coming up 
it up. Can we blitz them and get some pressure on this play? Their backup quarterbacks in the game, by the way. That's Cole Weeks, and he's going to find his man for the touchdown. Dominique Sullivan, and it's 24 to 3 now, pretty much wide open for Southern Mississippi, as UTSA has had not much offense in this game as Cam Jones makes a appearance here, getting a first down grab. Then we hand the ball to Evans Okacha on the draw, trying to catch him off guard a little bit, get some linebackers out of the box, get three yards on the carry. Now, stretch play left side as Okacha is taken down after another short gain of just about three or four yards. He got roughed up on that play. Now, third and three. Souza hit as he throws, and it's going to be fourth down coming up. Sending the pressure. They're doing everything they can do to stop this offense and doing it very well. Souza on fourth down, though. He's going to, wow, what was that? I can't even explain exactly what just happened there. But that was definitely out of bounds, and we turn over the ball. So it is not looking good right now. Late in the third quarter, deep pass left side, almost intercepted actually. Could have been tipped and picked off as well. They're going to go for a field goal. Kick is up, and it is wide right. But we're going to take it out of the end zone. Looking for a big play from Kenny Harrison. I know you're not supposed to do this all the time, but I thought we had a chance here for a big play, but they, apparently they had some fast guys on the special teams unit that were fast enough to track down Kenny Harrison. So, first and 10, Eric Souza open. No, Cam Jones drops the football wide open. Third and 10 coming up now. We're going to air it out once more. Souza desperately looking for a first down over the middle. Jeremiah Muller makes a tough catch there. Could have been picked off by the safety, but the tight end made the catch. Then first and 10, Souza dies. Dodges a sack now, throws it right side, and it's intercepted by Wilson. Another turnover for UTSA as it is Golden Eagles football. Second down to five, their backup running quarterback Cole Weeks is still in the game right now as Johnson takes the carry. He's going to go up the middle for a first down. Second and five now, playing man coverage. Weeks goes right side, curl route, Lampley first down in front of Eric Brown, takes a shot, hangs on, first down again. We are into the fourth quarter now. Weeks passing out of the backfield. Johnson on the catch. Tristan Wade knocks him out of bounds. Second and goal coming up. Weeks to pass again. Can't get any pressure on him. Leads him to the end zone. Intercepted by Starling. He decided to go and infiltrate Starling Island and came away with an interception. And so now it is Eric Sosa on offense throwing it deep. Looking for his man Harrison. And that's going to be incomplete. So second and ten. We'll go back to the ground game perhaps. We got Evans Okacha going up the gut. But just too good of defense from Southern Mississippi in this game. No big plays for our offense. That's what's really hurt us. The lack of big plays and lack of getting first downs. And, but Cam Jones here makes a tough catch. It's a little late, though, for this to be happening. We're down by 21. we got to get some touchdowns here. Okacha finds a crease in the running lanes. He's going to get about 8-9 eight, eight, yards in this carry, but 3rd and 8 coming up now. Can they get another conversion? Souza, who wants to go over the middle. Moeller makes the catch the tight end close to midfield now. We get we do all this work just to get to midfield. We still got to do so much more work because we barely get the first downs. we got to get some bigger plays. Souza over the middle. That's what we need right there on 3rd and 18. Kenny Harrison on the slant route. That one will move the chains. First down and 15. Souza passing again. He's going to take it deep, and it's... Oh, Brandon Freeman drops the pass. Come on, guys. No more drops, please. We're already down by 21 with two and a half minutes to go. Second and 15. Deep middle. Moeller drops the first down. Can Guys, Souza's throwing a nice football right now, and guys are not taking advantage of the good passes. And now we're going to go deep again to the end zone, and it's intercepted, of course. After two drops, that would have been big plays. We throw an interception. Southern Mississippi is victorious 24 to 3 in this ball game they dominated our offense and we had a lot of missed opportunities with the drops and just some bad plays overall and so it's been the story of the season though we are a 2 and 8 football team a very young roster a lot of sophomores on this team I'm excited to see how these guys progress and I think we only have three seniors total and one of them is a punter so it should be interesting next year and we have two wins right now want to finish the season stronger though we have two weaker opponents than we've been used to playing for our last couple of games, so hopefully we can use these games here to toughen us up for some tougher teams, and now we can go and play Tulane and UTEP and maybe have a successful end of the season. So Tulane is going to be up next, guys. They're a 2-7 football team. One team will have three wins after next week, so we'll see how it's going to go. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.